Songwriting Challenge 2020. I am Rod Gels. This is Vito Grippy. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna level up today. What we want to do is we want to we want you to add more chords to your to your song. So um, last time, if you remember, we had in our song because it was dead easy. G and C at nine. So that was the two two uh, chord songs that uh, we did. So now. Um, you are more than welcome to add any chords you think sound good together along with this. Now, in chord progressions, it can be a two chord progression, it can be a one chord progression, it can be a three chord progression, it can be a four chord progression. It can be really complicated, it doesn't have to be, but anyway, so a uh, little bit of beginner's music theory for you. If I was to add two more chords to this this uh, G to C or G to C add nine, in songwriting in music theory circles, that's called the one chord and the four chord for reasons you don't need to know. For right now, for right now, this is right because Rod says so. Anyway, so the the third chord that we would we, we would add to that is going to be a D chord. That is what we call the five chord. Just memorize this as a five chord, beginners. This is G, this is C at 9, this is D, alright? And then we have one more chord that I'm going to add to the mix, this again for beginners, is the, what we call the relative minor or the 6. The relative minor is the, uh, is, uh, the 6 in the key of G. Now, which is one chord, which is E minor. So we have G, C at 9, D, and E minor. So now, start writing your songs with those four chords, some sort of configuration with those four chords, okay? Uh, we want to talk about dummy lyrics today also and, and developing the dummy lyric. So we were talking about the, the last song we wrote, we had a reference to a, a specific year or address or... <laughs> Or uh, you want to go into this veto? Maybe a little bit. I think uh, during our dummy lyric session on uh, in the last in the last video, what we came up with was the seven thirty two war, mm -hmm. which really isn't anything, unless maybe there's a historian out there who's going to prove me wrong. Um, and so, like in terms of a, a writing lyric or a song lyric, it really makes no sense, right? But as a dummy lyric, it's just a place to start. So one thing that I've been thinking about as well. What would be if your dummy lyrics um, really make no sense and they're not saying anything for you? Then, then they're good dummy lyrics. They're good dummy lyrics, and then you can trash them if you want. Um, but then or, another option could be, you know, maybe think about okay, so what is a seven thirty two war? Nothing, right? But if you start thinking about maybe like metaphor, right, which is something that I like to think about when I'm when I'm writing poetry or songs, um, you know, we use the, the idea of war as a metaphor for a lot of things. And then, so like one thing that started happening in my brain was, well, maybe 732 is a house address. And maybe war is a metaphor for an argument or a fight or a breakup or whatever it may be that happened in there. So then suddenly, you know, the 732 war or the war that happened at address 732 such and such street. And so that's where my mind starts to kind of it's like ramble code, code language. Kind of like a code language. Yeah, in some ways, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the one thing that I like about lyrics is specificity. So in this case, even though it's a made-up place or made-up war, um, suddenly when you have a house address and something that happened in a house, then we're talking about real people, real feelings, real actions, and that kind of brings the song to life. At least. So the 732 war now has some sort of context. Because we can, we can, we can sort of scoff a story around the what is what is being felt and the emotions that are going through and all that kind of stuff in in seven thirty two uh, Stonewood like Drive or whatever. I'm just making yeah. it up. Howard Street, <laughs> Stonewood Drive. Yeah, your street. Whatever yes. street you live on. Yes. Um, so um, then yeah. We'll stay with the metaphor of war, as then you have you can carry that out. Right, so if it is about a fight or an argument, um, you know, then that the metaphor of war brings up things like destruction and and that sort of thing. So you can start to kind of visualize maybe it's a broken lamp or a broken window and or things just things falling apart in general. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, which is a metaphor. It can be a metaphor in itself. It, it, when things fall apart, yeah, that's 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 something we all can uh, we can all write about. I think many many great songs have yes. written about things falling apart. Yeah, yeah, sure. So now explain to me again what a metaphor is exactly. So a metaphor would be basically um, you know naming something in place of something else. So if a war would be the metaphor for an argument, right? A war. Um, I mean, there's lots of great metaphors, but you know, usually, you know, when I teach this in classes, it would be, you know, a simile is something is like something else. A metaphor is something else. So in this case, in our case, you know, war is the the breakdown of a relationship, right? The destruction of a relationship, as opposed to a simile, which would be the relationship is like a war. So what you're saying is when Bob Dylan talks about Mr. Tambourine Man, Ooh. he's not really talking about a man with a tambourine. I don't think so. All right, so Still that's a metaphor? Right I think so, yeah. All right, so metaphors are really, really cool stuff in order to, uh, to put in our songs is what, what, what we're learning here. So anyway, so for next time, until we see you again, work on your four chord creations. It can be any four chords. Beginners, we have the, the one, four, five, because Rod says so chords. We have that sixth chord that we can add to that, which is the relative minor because Rod says so. And then uh, we have metaphors, we have dummy lyrics, we have developing dummy lyrics that, so to the point where eh, it's not so dumb anymore. It's kind of, kind of, kind of unique actually. So anyway, until we see you again, songwriting challenge 2020. And I'm Rod. This is Vito. See you later. <laughs>